You remember that show, Sale of the Century, Nicholas Parsons? They always gave a car away. This is it. We're going to budget cuts. We're going to do a quiz show from Anglia or Norwich and Top Gear. We, um, well, we've had to retire the old one. A brand new, reasonably priced car. The old Kia C apostrophe D has been retired, probably sold to a little old lady as an ex demonstrator. Very low mileage. This is a big moment, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a few reasons for that. The um, C apostrophe D is now not on sale anymore. As you may have seen in the last series, there is a new one. So the old one's defunct. And the other problem is. Graham Norton, Jonathan Ross can have guests on and have them back whenever they like. I'm right. seriously strong. <laughs> His nipples are wet. <laughs> Why am I still out of breath? Because you're an old <laughs> bloke in <it. laughs> who drives everywhere when he could walk. But if a guest has set a time in a car, we can't have them back once they've set a time. So logic says, what kind of show are we? If we're saying to Cameron Diaz or Tom Cruise, no, you can't come back on. I'm not revealing anything because it might get on WikiLeaks and then there might be more riots in Brazil and all sorts of stuff. That bloke who works for the CIA, you know, who stole... The man with the, the CIA across with, he might find out. He decided to launch it with a star-studded party. We have invited literally everybody from the world of celebrity. President Carter, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Maura Stewart. I tell you who I haven't invited just for you, because I know you like her, Joss Stone. Really? Yes. You'll be rubbish with her. You don't want people knowing, because the world is unstable enough at the moment. Economies are in a bad place. They can't cope with knowing what the new reasonably priced car is just yet. My favourite film is in show one, which is the New Zealand race. It's I was saying in the mag, you know, I compare each series to like an album and the films are like album tracks. And I said that there's at least one film stroke track that would go on our greatest hits album. We are having a race up the side of New Zealand from here to here. All power hire car! Oh! This is all I get to eat on the boat. A melted bar of chocolate. <laughs> and a bag of nuts, and you'll have to beat that word. And I think that's a New Zealand race because it's so epic to look at, but the races are the hardest things to regenerate. They're the hardest things to refresh, and we have done with that one because there are so many bits, there are so many little storylines happening. It looks gorgeous, and the car is a real surprise, and it just... You know, they've all brought their A-game as well, Jeremy and James. James by default, because he's, you know, nothing he can do but suffer. Whoa, that's a biggie. Jeremy's really on it. So that is one of my favourites uh, already. The trouble is it'll be in show one. Gentlemen, the time has come. So I, don't, I really don't know. I wouldn't watch any more after that, actually. I would watch... What's on now? It's midwife on. Whatever's on, whatever drama about the village in the 60s is on BBC One, I'd watch that instead. We took over the Mall, yeah. We put a rather special display on there, uh, which looks astonishing. Um, you'll see F1 cars in there, you'll see Aston Martins, you'll see Bentleys, you'll see a smorgasbord of metal and um, real lump in the throat stuff. It's Nothing nothing exploded or fell over. The Queen didn't come out and tell us off in her nighty, uh, that sort of thing. But we we started at midnight putting the cars in. We were done by five in the morning. All of Britain's delivery men from all over Britain arrived with the cars. And they're like, a lot of them from these little sheds in the Midlands and stuff. I thought we'd be getting calls from them going, I've just gone past Big Ben five times, but they all turned up like clockwork. Then they got the roll-ups out and had a tab when they'd arrived. And it was, I was proud to be British, you know. And so that's at the climax of the series. So watch the first series and then watch the last one. You don't have to watch stuff in the middle, is, is my advice. 
I think the most important thing in this new series is our new reasonably priced car. Um, the old Kia has been retired, uh, it's gone out to stud, um, it's going to be allowed to mate with other Kias. Um, and so we've got a new one, which means of course a new lap board, and that meant that we had a little bit of a garden party down here um, for various celebrities. Um, but that's all you need, isn't it? Brake and accelerator. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's manual. Um, mm. We all improvised. Brad Pitt, Angelina, President Carter, they didn't come. Um, <clears throat> but Rachel Riley off Countdown did. Hammond! Oh, morning. Hello. I'm going to sit over there. Eh? How are you this morning? I'll be very well. How are you? Why are you being nice? We, what? <laughs> How are you? Why are you being nice? I was just we were so horrible about you just then. Yeah, no, we, was, no, we weren't actually. Good. Uh, and no, this series, it is Spain with supercars. We begin, we begin, we begin. I'm down, put it in logic. They're, they're moving away, I'm not going anywhere. What I'm saying is, we turn this town into a street circuit. Yes. Um, New Zealand race with us. He's so catastrophically uncomfortable as a way to travel. Oh, I got... Ow! When you say the wrong sale, where is the other sale? That's right in front of us. <laughs> in that back. Um, a vehicle that works when it's flooded. Sorry. Right, so that's the that's car. We've discovered one of the best cars made in Britain for, well, not made in Britain, we've discovered a fabulous car, a fabulous fabulous car which is on this Sunday. Sticks here. Is he alright? Um, what else have we done? Well, we've got a new reasonably priced car. Started. I've done that. One forty eight. Oh. Point. Oh no! Oh god. Okay, fair enough. We've done our. We've done our. We've made Britain great again. We've made Britain great. I've explained about that. I know what we've done. Um. Yay! We try. Well. We are more mature, as you can see. We're older and we're wiser. Mm. And that's reflected, I think, in the, the series as a whole. I, for example, have the V6. Whoa! That's the Triumph Bites! Oh, look at that! Certainly, James and I um, did a, a thing. You, you get these soft roaders, crossover vehicles, Honda CRVs, and Freelanders, and so on. Mm -hmm. These are very popular with caravanners. So James and I, we didn't bother taking him because he's no good with caravans. But we've done a really proper proper test, like you, you see in What Car magazine, um, or no, which. It is that we, we should, I mean, this is. He's not being sarcastic. It is genuine consumer journalism on television. It I'm, starts out that way. I've seen pictures of the okay, caravans after. Like Shush! Okay, fine, fair enough. It's, Shush! It's very sensible. That must Things went a bit wrong. He's looking good there, looking good. Anyway, it's going to be a cracking new series Belgium. of Top Gear, and as you can see, we're back and we're getting on well. Hammond is literally the world's worst human being at small talk. It's really easy, Hammond. You just be interested in somebody else. Where do their kids go to school? Right. Where do they live? Series 20, I think, started averagely, mm. built up to a crescendo of goodness in the middle, and then ends in a rather odd way. It's like a business presentation. Pop your glasses on upside down, you know. I oh, know, okay. I know very good. Yeah. It, well, it's been good. It's been a ride. So, what about personal highlights of the series? Oh, I've got a I've got hover van at the bottom of the weir. It's hover van, but it's going towards the bank when we were all three convinced, and now we die. James headed off to Top Gear's secret amphibious engineering centre in the Yorkshire town of Peenystone. What about a name? We haven't thought of a name. Bob. Richard Hammond. Yes. Engage hover mode. Oh, is it? Right. We Think say crazy. brace a lot. We say brace often, yeah. do we not? And we usually make a brace, brace, brace. You don't, we, we weren't going towards the bank, we were going the to boats. the back of three yeah. boats. And I yeah. said, brace. 
brace, meaning like we're gonna die. Ah, the race! Crash! Come on! Tree! Tree! Sorry. Tree! 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 Oh, huge tree! Oh, oh no, we broke the, the window! Screw it, God's sake! Oh. You pillock! What was your highlight? Well, yeah, hover van, or the bus. Fire system pressure, okay. Jeez. Ignition system. Here we go. Cock. Follow that's his caravan right. because uh, that's oh, God, one of your so massive so laughs. When, when, when his lava truck is anywhere, you're driving over. Look at me! Look at my big steering wheel. Talking Nora. Going yeah. over Jeremy's chemical lavatory. And there were other bits that we couldn't show that because it just wasn't time, but there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there was one point where I started off in front, then I went a different way, and then you got in front, and I was quite a long way behind, but I knew something bad was happening when I saw your tin opener. <laughs> How did that get out? <laughs> If you go car stuff, no, car stuff would have to be for me. Th when you and I got alongside one another on that deserted Spanish motorway, so you were in the Ferrari 458, yeah. I was in the McLaren. And tend to think of those two cars as being broadly similar in terms of, you know, they are in terms of price and size and layout and so on. And then it was, we went three, two, one, go, both in third gear, both doing the same speed or second gear, whatever it was. The gulf, the performance difference was simply unbelievable. You just how went much, to where? How much faster the McLaren is. We've done all right for supercars in this year, because we've got the McLaren, Pro 458 Spider, the RAB10, Aventador, Aventador Roadster, Six Aventador, 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 the Feza, you do this. Oh yes, the F12, that's a lethal thing. <laughs> it's called the F12. Guests, we had Hugh Jackman on. He yeah, was he's good. Very cool. that properly good guest. Really enjoyed him. He's bloody annoying, really. Yeah. Because he's six foot odd, ridiculously good looking, and very funny. Yeah, I feel the need for speed. Six <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a pussy. Stay on that. To stay. Ah, oh, can't believe I'm staying on that full accelerator. Yes, yeah, Stig, you'd be proud of me. <laughs> No, it's, I think it's just been a good series. Like I say, it started slowly, built to a crescendo, and then we tail off in the knockback. I think everyone will be expecting, or would have expected, that final film about the British car industry to be us lot fooling around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be quite a nice surprise to find we didn't. Anyway, it's been fun, and we'd like to thank you for your continued support. Yes. And we shall be back just as soon as we've made all the films for the next series. And this time, shall we make them in good time? Yeah. We're always late with our homework. Can I apologise as well for the series? I know it was rather short, but we're getting quite old and we can't stand each other for more than six weeks. Yeah. Well, the whole point of a budget supercar is that it should be understated, yeah. right? So here's what we do. You have to drive from here to the other end of the harbour, which is over there, one at a time, and the winner is the one whose car is least photographed. James, I'm in a yellow metal flake convertible McLaren. What did I say six weeks ago? Was it only watch the first one and the last one, don't bother with the rest? Yeah. I think people actually took that to heart, because there have been a lot of people watching Countryfile. Um, highlights of the series. I'll be glad to see the back of the series, because it's been a <laughs> to make. But um, the have, as I sort of predicted, in adversity, good things often come, and a lot of a lot of good things has come. I think the tow cars is a surprise. Come on! Oh dear, oh dear! Driving through Jeremy's caravan. Oh, and your portable lavatory. <laughs> that was definitely a highlight because it was clever, cleverer than the hover van, which was a big comedy caper. Road engine's not starting. What? Why is the starter not working? Because it's wet. Why didn't you waterproof it? Well, I, I didn't know. Why are we still shouting? I think Little Gem, Hammond's Sesto Elemento, who knew?
you know, it just little things like that pop up and surprise you. <laughs> Spain was a sight better than I thought it was going to be because you sort of go three cars going around a place that's empty. It's not, a, it doesn't look great on a piece of A4. However, very comfortable in its own skin and a very good looking film. Then we can do grown up stuff as well. This feels a bit special. There's been a hell of a lot of good stuff. Let me talk you through the cars we have lined up. This uh, is a Hindustan ambassador, a taxi in India. This is for a, a scientific feature, actually, Hammond has done on which taxi from around the world is best. Guys getting impatient, that's good. Oh, Jesus. Sorry about that. Over here, we have the new Ferrari F12. I've been driving this. Um, and there's a slightly surprising conclusion to uh, my road test on that, which you shall see. Can't enjoy a Ferrari in Britain? Oh, yes, you can. And then you can drive along quite happily at 20 miles an hour? It's not even especially big. This is a Formula 3 racing car, which is an introduction to an item we're doing on the BAC Mono. That's the stage. Oh, yes, and here is the BAC Mono. <laughs> Oh, I've worked myself! <laughs> 